So a little bit of a potpourri update on uh, stuff that's going on around the home theater and some insights as to stuff I'm going to be talking about pretty soon here in, uh, in future videos. All right, so I've been dropping the, the shorter kind of individual, like conceptual topic vlogs, uh, but I've had a bunch of kind of things happening in the background and I wanted to, to make some more specific mentions. So this one will be a little bit more of a potpourri, a melange of, of different topics and kind of uh, setting a tone for some of the things that I specifically want to talk about in, in videos that'll be, be coming soon. So I, I've started to weave in some more of like the longer form um, device overviews. I did the Arundel Sound app. I've got the uh, the app review. I did the Kaleidoscape settings ones. I got a whole bunch more Kaleidoscape stuff kind of in my mind. Um, I have moved the Harbottle sub along to its next uh, demo and review person. And I just wrote up my script for that. So I will have a dedicated Harbottle C18 subwoofer review video coming in pretty short order. Uh, but in the meantime, a whole bunch of other things are happening. So let's let's talk about a couple. I've been pretty successful actually in the last couple weeks selling some equipment. So I have no more of my old Focal speakers. I sold the last pair of bookshelves. Somebody came and got them locally, which is great. So all that stuff is gone. I even sold the speaker stands, Facebook Marketplace, that stuff is gone. So I've, I've achieved my goal of everything that I took out and replaced and upgraded and whatever under the Home Theater 2.0 banner has now been sold. So that's, that's great. I'm not completely done selling stuff. But it, it's, it's nice to have all of that other things moved out, and I'm down to just a much uh, smaller amount of things to, to worry about and move. And I did get a couple of new things that we'll be talking about. Two boxes came, two of these boxes. Give you five seconds, can you guess what's in there? The last piece, the last piece of Home Theater 2.0. These are the eight uh, GIK two-way panels that are gonna be going on the ceiling of the theater room Kind of a little back from the screen in between the screen and the couch so i'm curious i haven't opened these up yet i'll be doing that hopefully in pretty pretty short order giving them an inspection are these ones going to be kind of have some of the qa concerns that the other two panels did with some of the scuffs and the misaligned foam and the glue in that we'll see um there's eight of them so i got a lot of a lot of stuff to look over and if i gotta be like magic markering and kind of touching touching these things up, it's gonna take a while. And I'm actually a little nervous about putting these up as well. I am gonna just spray them and stick them. So the 3M Super 77 glue spray, I use this to affix the other two panels to the, to the back wall. They're still hanging, they haven't fallen down. So that, I think that works, that looks good. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same method there, but I'm just nervous about like getting eight kind of floating panels nicely aligned right on the ceiling having them squared up i don't know my ocd is like flaring right now because i i don't want to get it all done and then sit on the couch and then see them like you know angled angled line and and whatever so I'm, I'm a little nervous about that but if i get the first one hopefully get the first one up really nice and square i don't know that i'm gonna pack them like right against one or another i think i might leave i don't know two to two three or four inches kind of in between them in, in a grid. And I think I might have to do that anyway because I've got the cap where the the cap where the ceiling fan was taken out. Kind of right in the path of where those these panels are gonna go. And so I need to at least split them over that cap. And if I'm gonna split the center, I don't know, maybe I'll do two sections of four packed together with a split down the middle or, or I don't know. I gotta, I gotta open them up, I gotta lay them all out. I gotta think about it. You know, measure measure five times, because I'm gonna have one chance to stick them. And uh, once they're stuck, they're stuck, and they're, they're not gonna be not gonna be moving around. Getting the ones lined up on a vertical wall is a little easier, because at least that was just a matter of putting the level on top, on the ceiling. Uh, there's, there's not really level, right? There's there's a matter of like squaring it up to the walls, which are yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how that one goes. Amongst the things that I do have to sell, I do have the triad speakers out, cleaned up, and ready to go. Of course, those are the ones that I pulled out of the living room to put in the, the extra pair of Focal 1000 IW LCR6s. So if anybody needs an oddball triad silver six, 
I got a really nice one, the newer model in the box, and I got an older one that's um, not, not quite as nice or whatever. That thing, I'm, I don't know. I hope I don't have to just throw that away, but I'm probably going to just end up letting that thing go dirt cheap on Facebook. But I hope to maybe get at least a few hundred bucks or more, 500, I don't know, for this, for the nice one that's in the box and, and is the newer model and, and all clean. So that's one of the things that I do, uh, do have left uh, to sell. So other stuff that's going on, I'm getting really tired of, of ripping stuff, I, I, I have to admit. So I did the videos on like getting set up to, to rip your discs and rip your physical media. I did the deeper dive triple video series on, on using Make MKV, and I was intending to follow it up with some more. I'm still intending to. I really want to do a review video for Infuse, the Infuse app on the Apple TV. Honestly, I think that's one of the best, one of the best media player software apps interfaces and such that's out there and it's so cohesive across the mac app platform um, so many great features and such that it has so and I, and I do have a variety of rip content here on the nas but man i'm finding myself like i i, I would never go back to that like full time if for my media setup i'm of course i'm in the kaleidoscape i got the new kaleidoscape all all set i got those eight minute downloads running so we want to watch a movie high quality get it on there, download it, it's ready to go. Gosh, it's so it's so much simpler. I've, I've been just r ripping a couple of additional things that I was thinking to put on the server and, and whatever, and just getting like the you know, disc read errors and, and and dealing with the subtitleness and make MKB. Never, never again would that be my way that I would, I would fully invest myself into setting up a media library. There's just so many pitfalls. And I'll do, I will do some more talking about that coming up but it, along the same lines I sold the Oppo um, that that did go in the last week so luck I sold it actually whatever but I think I made a hundred bucks on it uh, technically between what I had paid for it and what I ended up selling it for so that's off to its new owner happy owner that's great somebody that can really appreciate it that really wants to use it for physical media and take advantage of its local network playback but I, I, I'm out I, I had no reason to to keep that the the limited stuff that I'll keep as a rip, I have very specific reasons why I would do so because of issues like availability of that title and, and so on. And, and that's that's going to be it. And Infuse, Infuse is, is all that I need there. So a lot more on that uh, coming up in the channel as well. Something else that I plan to do, I've got this box, another brown nondescript box. This thing is full of movie posters. <laughs> Now, and this thing has been sealed for, God, over a decade probably. So I started collecting movie posters, thinking that I would put them in a future theater or whatever. I think way back, either before we went out east or while we were out east, and we've been back in Michigan for, I think, a, almost a decade now. And so this box, the, the posters that I did buy, they got, they're, they're rolled up in nice tubes and, and that box is full of them there's probably at least a dozen maybe two dozen movie posters in there original one sheets that i bought off ebay when i was kind of like collecting this stuff again thinking that i would use it in a future theater i don't even know what's in there i can't remember what i bought I, there's some star wars there's some disney i don't know but i think it might be pretty fun to finally uh, open this box up and kind of inventory what's in there and i might do it with my son as well and, and see what he thinks about, you know, old old school movie posters and, and stuff like that. But I figured I might as well make a video out of it. So coming up, we'll, we'll do a vlog. We'll open that box up. We'll pull the posters out one by one, take a look at them, see if I can remember, like, where I got it from or what it is. And ultimately, I want to get a, I want to get a poster hung in the theater. I think that's one of the final finishing touches of Home Theater 2.0. And I would really love to have that original Return of the Jedi one sheet with kind of the faces and in Jabba and all them on there that one's not too expensive you buy an empire or a new hope you're spending like thousands i love that empire poster though with like the bluish purple background and they're on the tauntaun and all that that would be that that would be the one but that that one's like a couple grand and all the problems of like authenticating and whatever yeah i don't know but i got room for one poster in there and a while back i had found a company selling uh frames with with like no glare glass or no glare poly or whatever is in front of it so i need to need to get this open revisit that get a frame get at least one poster hung up in the room there so we'll be talking about that and we'll open that stuff up together again i anything could be in there uh, amongst the dozens or 
hundred of my favorite movies. I have no clue what I bought. This box has been taped up and it's been moved cross country multiple times <laughs> since the last time it was it was messed with. So that'll be fun, I think, and hopefully just a chance to hang out. Maybe they'll make that my first live stream, actually. I wonder I wonder if we could do that as a live stream. I don't know. The audience is getting a little bit bigger. Some of the premieres have like 15, 20 folks. That that could be that could be fun. But if I'm gonna live stream it and there's like three people there, I guess yeah, it'd be fun for the three of us. But yeah, you know, I'm not pulling. I'm not pulling 500 people like some of the other channels and stuff do. So we'll see. I got I had some thinking to do there. The other thing that I've been messing around with, and I got something else here. I'll lift it up in a second. Is gaming, home theater gaming. So I've been almost uh, kind of punting on deciding between my PC and the PlayStation or, or the PlayStation Xbox combo. I got all that stuff sitting up there for gaming platforms. I don't need that many gaming platforms. And I find myself, like every once in a while, a new game comes out. I'll buy it. I don't play it because I got so little time to even mess with it. You know, pull it up on the PC, pull it up on the console, and universally find, like, man, the PC always just looks so much better. So, I, but that, that's one of my next targets. And I really got to bring myself to a decision. I don't, I don't need all this stuff. I want to get rid of a couple of these devices and... And do I still like tinkering with the PC and whatever? But these guys went up on sale. And I went ahead and I was able to grab one on launch day. Yeah, that's an EVGA for the Win 3 Ultra 3090 Ti. I haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed. And I've got the 3080 Ti sitting in there, sitting there in the computer. And I know the back of my mind is buzzing. Like this is probably the most inefficient money that I might have ever spent on a piece of electronics because that 4000 series isn't too far down the road. It's probably going to spank all of these 3000 series in price uh, or in performance and price to performance ratio. The value of all these cards is just going to go whoosh, right down the toilet once that 4000 series come. But man, this 3090 Ti is probably 20, 25% stronger than that 3080 Ti up there. And I could I could go back I could I could mine on it. This, this card right now would probably turn at least five bucks a day, six, maybe even close to seven bucks a day uh, in excess of power if I get it tuned right, which is about as much money as I'm, I'm making on YouTube right now as well. So I don't know. I got both of these cards up for sale if, if I flip the 3090 Ti or I sell the 3080 Ti first, but I think I'm going to keep the PC. I think I will be deinstalling the PlayStation and the Xbox and go and just go with the PC. I, I like the idea of power. I don't want to sit around and wait, whatever it might be, two years, three years, for a pro console. And when these 4,000 cards come out and the new uh, AMD cards come out, they're already talking like 80 teraflops of performance for the new AMD cards. That's like 10 times the power of a PlayStation 5 available to buy more than likely calendar year 2022. So do you want to wait until 2024 for the, for the PS5? But... Man, that PC just kills me every time you tr you go to game and there's a problem or or something that you got to debug or mess with. But on the other hand, like that's few and far between. My son and I have been playing Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Unleashed, and I did opt to get the Steam version of the game. Um, I borrowed it actually. Our library, our libraries around here are awesome. Video games and all that stuff. So they had the Xbox Series X version of Hot Wheels Unleashed, and I had already bought it on Steam. So I'm like, oh, let's go to the library. Let's grab the Xbox version, bring it home, put it in, and we can kind of A-B them. And even that game where, man, that Xbox Series X should be able to run that game at 4K, full 4K res, native res, 60 FPS, maxed out settings and whatever, and A-Bing back and forth just on that game, you could tell the difference. The, the, the lighting, PC lighting, it just destroys console lighting and detail and clarity of the, the environments and so on. We're driving through the environments and, and looking at the background and, and like the books on the bookshelves of the rooms. And on the Xbox, they're fuzzy. On the PC, just rock solid. Everything is just rock solid sharp. So that kind of just further sealed the deal for me. I like visual fidelity and I don't think I mind messing around with or tinkering with one, one thing and it would be that gaming PC. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that more coming up too, home theater gaming, and particularly the advantages of, of PC and, and console stuff. And there's a couple of specific reasons why I would choose PC that are part and parcel of my setup. And, and I think are really important elements of like why, why, 
why in certain situations I would never consider the computer as my primary gaming platform, but because of my setup and because of certain elements of the way that I'm doing things in my setup, it, it's actually really good and it nullifies a lot of the negatives that the PC, um, PC has. But not price, of course, and again, this is the most probably inefficient hardware and entertainment money that I um, have spent, may spend. I could still return it, I could still sell it and, and whatnot, I, I don't know. We'll see when Ethereum changes uh, also. If I could feel confident that I could mine more of the, the cost of Delta back, that would be one thing, but yeah, who knows with that. So that's kind of a whole bunch of stuff that's been happening, percolating, uh, and, and whatnot in the background here. I'd like to say that I, I wa watched a bunch of movies. We, we did get down into the theater room for a few pieces of content in order to like actually really be able to review the Har Bottle and put some time on the Har Bottle. So we did Adam's Family 2, we did Sing 2, all, all really good stuff. There's a whole host of movies that I want. There's more want to watch. There's more Marvel stuff coming out, Moon Knight, putting me more shows behind. I did finish Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You know, my Mar I've been reading more comics than I've been watching comics, actually. But I want to get into some gaming. I want to get into that room and actually use it. I did all this setup stuff. Life, man, life happens. And uh, by the time 10.30 rolls around, it's hard to start a movie, especially on a work night. Let me know what's going on in your theater space. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff that I can answer right in, in future content. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notification. Look down in the description below for some ways to support the channel. And we'll see you soon.